Welcome back to the channel, gamers. Today, we're diving into some shocking and troubling news that has rocked the gaming industry in 2024. The massive wave of layoffs has left many developers and employees in uncertainty. We'll break down what's happening, who's affected, and what this means for the future of gaming. Let's get started. In the first few months of 2024 alone, an estimated 6,000 people have lost their jobs in the gaming industry. This figure is alarming, especially considering the trend we saw in 2023, where about 10,500 jobs were cut. To put this into perspective, 2022 saw approximately 8,500 layoffs, which was already considered a significant blow. The numbers have been steadily climbing, creating an unsettling environment for those working in game development and related fields. Several major companies have been hit hard by these layoffs. Let's look at some of the most notable ones. Riot Games Riot Games, known for its popular titles like League of Legends, laid off 530 employees, which is about 11% of its workforce. This included shutting down its experimental publishing label. Devolver Digital Devolver Digital laid off 28 people from its Artificer team, a studio it acquired in 2021. Behavior Interactive The developers behind Dead by Daylight, Behavior Interactive, saw 45 employees lose their jobs. Sega of America Sega of America cut 61 workers. Microsoft. In a particularly shocking move, Microsoft laid off nearly 2,000 employees across Activision, Blizzard, Zenimax, and Xbox, despite recently reaching a $3 trillion market cap. The impact of these layoffs isn't confined to just these companies. Smaller studios and developers have also been affected. Unity, for example, plans to eliminate 1-800 positions by March, adding to the 1,000 jobs they cut in 2023. Embracer Group, another significant player, has gutted teams and cancelled projects, including a new Deus Ex game. The restructuring at Embracer is expected to continue until at least March 2024. You might be wondering why these layoffs are happening, especially when the gaming industry has seen financial growth. The primary reasons include post-pandemic adjustments, the gaming industry experienced a boom during the pandemic as people turned to video games for entertainment while staying home. This led to rapid expansion and hiring. However, as the world returns to normalcy, the demand has stabilized, leading companies to adjust their workforce. Corporate consolidation, mergers and acquisitions have led to overlapping roles and the need for cost-cutting measures. Financial pressures, despite overall growth, individual companies face financial pressures and are looking to streamline operations to maintain profitability. Interestingly, amidst this chaos, unionization efforts are gaining momentum. The Aegis CWA union at Sega of America, for instance, successfully negotiated to save some jobs and secure severance packages for temp workers. Unionization is becoming an essential tool for protecting workers' rights in an industry known for its volatility. The massive layoffs in the gaming industry are a stark reminder of the challenges and uncertainties faced by those behind our favorite games. While the industry continues to grow financially, the human cost is significant. As gamers, it's crucial to stay informed and support the individuals who create the content we love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things gaming. Let me know in the comments what you think about these layoffs and how they might impact the future of gaming. Until next time, stay safe and game on. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.